This is Lenacy. I'm Suzanne Ridgway, and welcome back to my channel. We are going to clean the two most busiest rooms in my home today. My kitchen and my bathroom. They are visited multiple times a day. I get the kitchen ready for the day. We are just having lunch home today. We are going to Red Robin tonight for dinner. And we're going to be doing a food review of what we ordered. So please keep an eye out for that. Make sure you subscribe. Speaking of subscribing, let's look for that subscribe board. Smash on it. Don't forget to tap on that bell. Give this video a big thumbs up. Let's get cleaning. We're gonna get dishes put away today. Kitchen looks pretty decent considering. Just a mug in the sink. And it's gonna get washed down. Countertop looks decent. My fruit stand that I made holds a lot of fruit. Just got the cuties at Walmart yesterday, three forty nine, a big bag. Great buy. I don't have a container for this yet. I gotta put it away. Get some receipts put away. David's tea. And take care of the stove top area. Recycles need to go downstairs. Get my crock pot put away. Take care of the coffee. Well, first thing we're going to do once David's done making his breakfast, we're going to take care of the toaster and then we're going to put away the dishes that are to the left. His toast just popped and then we're going to take care of the other side of the kitchen. Hello everybody, we're going to get the kitchen cleaned up today. It is one of the busiest rooms in my home. I'm going to get these dishes put away. And once the dishes are put away, we are going to clean the dish drain. I like to clean it once a week to stay on top of it to keep it looking nice. Now we're going to put away some utensils. I'm going to struggle with that tong for a few minutes. I hate that thing. Then I get a hair tie from the drawer. We have to keep a bunch of them on hand and tie it together to keep the tongs contained and they don't open up. That was a really great idea that I had. And then I'm going to get the spatula and the rest of the utensils put away. Then I'm going to put away the cooking pot. Now that the dishes are put away, I'm going to put the toaster back on the pantry shelves. Get the countertop washed down. I'm going to wash the dish drain to the left. I'm also going to pour the coffee into a mug. Because I may make a coffee cake either today or tomorrow with the extra coffee. I'm going to take care of a few dishes in the sink. Not too many in there, and get my face washed out for another time. Let's get this toaster put away. I'm going to move over my fruit stand that I made. It holds a lot of fruit. I made it from the Dollar Tree from the paper towel holder. I'll link that video down below. I'm going to save the extra coffee and get the coffee pot soaking. I'm going to wash down the countertop. Then we're going to do the drain and put away anything that needs to be put away. I've got a hot soapy sponge. I'm gonna get this countertop washed down, get it ready for lunch later today. Not really much hungry for breakfast this morning. I'm gonna have lunch and then have my dinner at Red Robin tonight. I'm looking forward to going out. Now we're gonna wash out the a few things. That was my vase, and this needs cleaning. You see the grossness on it. I'm going to scrub it down and rinse it off. And I can put the drain on a clean countertop. That's why I did the counter first. And there's just three dishes in the sink, and I'll wash them when I'm done. And then we'll wash and deep clean the sink with hot soapy water. I always forget how to put this thing back together. Sometimes I struggle with it but I eventually get it. It's like a puzzle piece. This usually goes in the middle between the two pieces and then I'm going to wash out the thing that holds the silverware and the utensils. Nice soapy hot water. I'm going to take care of these little bit of dishes. I'm not going to fill up the sink for three dishes. That's just a waste of water to me. Rinse out the coffee pot and let it hang dry upside down. Now I'm going to scrub the sink down. I do this multiple times a day to keep the sink clean and smelling fresh and germ free. We use the sink multiple times a day. Kitchen's a very busy area. 
and I like to keep it clean and organized as best as I can for my family. Grab the clean towel to wipe it out. Grab the microwave plate. I'm going to let that dry in the drain. Over to the microwave. We're going to wash it out. Do the inside and the roof of it. Get the microwave cleaned and ready for the day. We use that a lot too. Onto the soap stop with a new sponge and new microfiber cloth. I get them at the Dollar Tree. I'm going to wipe down the burner, the inside of the stove. I like to do the hot plates. Wipe down the, the countertop and the coffee maker too. Make sure everything's clean. And I'm going to do the garbage can lid and the front of the garbage can. And when I'm done, I'll throw out that sponge. I like to wipe down the garbage can at least once a day because it gets dirty. Finally, we're going to sweep. I'll mop on Monday. I mop two, three times a week to keep the floors clean and healthy. The kitchen's clean. I threw away the dirty sponge. Stove top done. Microwave. The dish is going to dry. Clean up the counter next to the coffee maker. Countertop's done. Washed off the sink, washed the dish train and underneath it. Now we're going to go do the bathroom. Now we're going to take care of the bathroom sink, another busy area throughout the day, and then the toilet. Grab my new Comet. I love opening new products. I'm going to scrub the sink well, including the piece that plugs the sink up to hold the water in and wipe it down. Grab the clean washcloth and I'm just going to dry up all the chemicals to make sure there's nothing on it. It is important to clean your toilet on the weekends. People are all home from school, work, whatever, and it's a very busy room in your house. And today we are just focusing on the kitchen and the bathroom, the two most busiest areas of my home. And we're going to get the toilet clean now. I'm going to start by doing the bowl itself, and then I'm going to spray around the toilet and wipe it down. Got my Comet. I'm going to sprinkle some into the toilet bowl and scrub it out a very tough angle to get a good shot for you guys to see. Just do the bottom part of the rim there with the seat and scrub the inside well. And I spray the seat and I'm going to wipe it down. Wipe the top part. And last, I'll wipe around the floor area that nobody touches with their feet because it's very tight with that cloth and get it ready for the wash. Now I'm just going to wipe down what I sprayed. In today's video, we focus on the two busiest areas of my home bathroom in the kitchen. We cleaned and scrubbed down the kitchen, getting ready for the day. I'm only having lunch here today. My husband already ate. I'm not very hungry this morning, so I don't know if I'm having breakfast. Probably just lunch and dinner tonight. And we scrubbed down the bathroom sink and toilet. It's important to do it on the weekends, at least once on the weekend and a few times during the week, especially with cold and flu season among us. And the coronavirus is still around. It's just dying down. Thank goodness for that. Another busier area of my home that I'll get to during the week is the stair area. I like to sweep that at least once a month to keep it nice and tidy from the, the bird food and the squirrel food downstairs. That is it for this video. And before we go, did you smash on that subscribe board? Don't forget to tap on that bell and give this video a big thumbs up. Thank you for watching.